All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to disassemble an automatic locking hub from a Ford F-150. You're going to take out these five bolts. They're Torx T20 size. Once you get to the last one, you want to be a little careful because it's under a little spring tension. When you get it off, there's a spring right there. Sometimes it might be stuck in there. And when you get to the hub itself, it'll still be on the truck. You want to take a pair of needle nose pliers and you want to take this clip out right there. After you take that out, you want to take your needle nose pliers and grab these two tabs and squeeze them in like this. And that's going to allow you to pull the whole hub out of the truck. Once you get that out, you can take that ring off. You take the seal off, and you go ahead and bring this into a workstation. Once you get into a workstation, you're going to want to take this cup out, right there. Take this bearing out, like that. This will either be down in there, or it'll still be stuck to there. And you can just take it out. And you're going to want to flip it over, and if you look in there, You'll see a snap ring. Get your snap ring pliers. Press it in there. Pull it out like that. Just like that. And you want to twist this on an angle just like this and pry it out like that. There's two little clips there and they go around this white piece. You want to pull it out just like that. That's how that comes out. Next, you're going to get a flathead screwdriver and you're going to take this snap ring out here just like that. And be careful because it's under some tension. Just like that. And that will enable you to take this piece out. You're going to want to use that same screwdriver and try and get under it in a couple spots. And then come over to this white piece and try and get on top of it and push it down underneath. This plastic piece is a different piece from the outer race. So once you pry it like that, this whole piece will come out just like that. Next you want to get this plastic piece out. Basically there's these there's about six clips that go around in a little groove. You just got to pry them up and out. Just like that. <clears throat> and you can take the center hub out. And what you're going to want to do next is use some kind of a press or something to compress this spring down like this because you want to get this snap ring out from in there. So I use that and then you can just use a flat head to get this snap ring out. There it is right there careful when you let this go because that's a heavy duty spring and you see how far it comes up. If you just let it go this thing's going to go flying and hit you in the face. I'm going to take that off. There's two pieces there. Take this spring out like that. Take that off. And you got this assembly here that's being held on by that snap ring. Now the problem is, when the truck's not in four-wheel drive, this sprocket sits right here on this channel here. And since it never gets used or it doesn't get used in a while, it kind of rusts into place. So this is what you want. You want the whole assembly to be able to slide back and forth like that. That's not four-wheel drive. There it is in four-wheel drive. So what you're going to have to do is unclip here and here and take this off and you got another spring here and it's a little tricky to do that but there's one side there 
and then you got to get something under this side. Uh, it's a pain to do it, but you can use the snap ring pliers and get under the corner enough for you to get the screwdriver under there. All right, once you unclip it from this side, you come around and unclip it from this side. And you're gonna to wanna to pull this straight off. Once again, be careful of that spring. Take that out, take the spring off. And then this is the problem, like I said, this sprocket doesn't move freely on this shaft like, it's like that. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take this to a vise and open the vise up enough to where these teeth sit on it and then hit this part with a hammer and beat it through just like that. Separate these two pieces. You can take this uh, snap ring off if you want, you don't have to. Um, but you're going to want to take it off for reassembly. So just pop it off just like that. So once you get these two pieces separated, you go ahead and get some bearing grease and just put a little in there like that so that doesn't happen again. Now you're going to assemble it back together and you're going to want to take this spring and this piece put the spring in there you got two ends of the spring you got a wide end and a narrower end that narrower end goes up towards the top of that put the spring in there like that and you're going to want to feed it there's a notch right across from each other on this sprocket that's where it locks in Put it in on one side like that, and on this side, press it out and press it in like that. Then you're going to take this piece, this with the groove for the snap ring closest goes towards the outside of the truck. This piece goes towards the inside of the truck. And then it goes on like this. You're going to watch this spring and just feed it through the teeth like that and then press it all the way on just like that <coughs> so now you got this whole assembly that, that moves on there the way it's supposed to you turn it over like that take your seat clip and put it in that channel there and there you go this won't come off and this won't come off that way and you turn it upside down like that you want to put your first race on there and you're going to want it to sit in this groove here just like that same thing on the other side take your spring it doesn't matter which way it's the same on both ends push that back around like that set it down in the seat then you take this race and you put that on first then you take this grooved one and then you put that on and you take the c-clip for it and you press it in there and then you can press this spring down and just kind of roll it into place roll it right over the grooves and kind of muscle it in there until it snaps into place now your whole assembly is back together and what you want is to be able to turn this around like that and press this down so it slides like that. If you have this action, that's a fixed hub. You have four wheel drive with that. So you're going to take your outer ring, you're going to put that back in there. And that's basically how it works. This, the teeth on this sprocket lock into here when it's in four wheel drive like that and then these teeth are splined into the rim 
and that gives you power to the tire. When you take it out of four wheel drive, there's a one way cam in there, and when you go backwards, it pulls that back in, and then, then this just spins around, and that's not in four wheel drive. So then you're going to want to take this, put some grease in there, put some grease on that. And that goes in there and clicks right into them grooves, right where it came out of. And then you do the same thing with the outer cage. Give it a lot of grease on the inside and out. And there's a little window there. And this nubby part of the plastic right there sits in that little window. So you just line that up and then you press it back in there. Just like that. And then you put this seat clip back in there or snap ring. There's your engagement there. <clears throat> then you take this piece that has the brake band on it. It's got these two prongs and they go on each side of this plastic nub right there in the window. Just like that. And you put it in on an angle and then it goes right into place. And you press, press this up in through there. And then you can put that down. You take your last lock ring, and you put that in, and expand it. Sure, it clips into the groove. And then when you put it back on the truck, you're going to want to put it in and spline this into the wheel and then just kind of turn this until it clicks back in and slides all the way in. Then you can put your ring back on it like this. Squeeze them together with a pair of needle nose pliers, press it in, lock it in place, put your clip back in there. You want to put that bearing, put some grease in that little cup that it sits in right there. Put your bearing back in there. Put this cup back in there. And then you can put the cap back on. And after that it should be fixed and you got another one on the other side to do and that concludes that.